Hello and welcome back everyone. So we are here in our apartment and I thought it was time for a summer holiday EDC update. So <laughs> my bag is getting a little bit <laughs> dirty here from all the dust and sand and everything, but we'll clean this up when we go back home. So let's look what we have for our summer EDC. Let's see what we can find in here. Not that in the main compartment and this is what I carry about all the time constantly everywhere I go the bag of bag of many things okay because I like being prepared and you know it's important to me to be for me to be ready for everyday kind of everyday kind of everyday kind of things which might might occur let's see here yeah okay that's what we will show so first of all the bag it's a Fjallraven fold sack number three in blue canvas bag so let's get through it wallet car key disinfectant some trash pocket trash a uh, whistle flashlight knife rescue me tool and then one of these id with menthol <laughs> uh, where we are staying the at least the previous location pepper spray is legal but i had this one for the i had this one in norway i'm just gonna try it out and then when it expires i might do a self-test video i don't know maybe it should be refreshing, uh, but it's it's not pepper spray. It's it's UV color with menthol and some alcohol in it, so it will sting in the eyes and yeah. yeah. Rat tourniquet, leather gloves, passports and insurance, toilet paper. Antibacterial wipes, a Israeli bandage. You will see why I have this trauma set up next to the first aid kit because this is a family vacation. So I kind of had to reorganize a little bit for my everyday go to the university setup. So let's get through the stuff bag first. This is just an IKEA pouch. A simple. You find them in Ikea still, I think. So, zip ties, I've used quite a few already. Uh, notepad. Duct tape, or off-brand duct tape. A uh, sting relief uh, with you tea tree oil. It works pretty well. Gum. Um, mouth spray, SP12. Knife. Spare phone, Zebra 701, chapstick, lighter, flashlight, nail clipper, batteries for the flashlight. Let's see what else we got in here. Earplugs, I think there were, yeah, paper clip. Guitar pick, this is for prying, uh, prying plastic and glass. You don't want to pry with metal, pry with a guitar pick works very well. So yeah, that's that. And then let's go to the first aid kit, which is the most exciting part here. Well, the trauma gear is already there, so it's not really a combined trauma and first aid kit anymore now, is it? Well, let's see what we have anyway. This is the Helicontex small first aid pouch. So, shout out to the guy who turned me on to Liquid Plast. I'm just trying this out. I, I did use Liquid Plast a bit when I was working in the kitchen. Uh, this is for scrubs and scrapes on, on your knees when you are out and about, mostly for the children. Our smallest one is not really into this one. <laughs> She's not really into plasters. Somehow it seems like it's more traumatic to put the plaster on it than it is to actually 
bleeds, so yeah. But we are trying out the liquid plasters. At least, you know, to see how it how it turns out for us. Uh, now I completely forgot the channel name, but shout out to you. Um, the Nomad Nomad Preparedness thing? Nomad Preparedness? I will put a link in the description below to your channel uh, who turned me on to the liquid plasters and one more thing in here as well. Yeah, we will see Nomad. We will see. So, um, examination gloves. Field dressing, which I stuck in the zipper. General field dressing. Nothing special. Just a bandage. These are fairly cheap. They cost, uh, I don't know, two bucks maybe for a field dressing like this. You can buy them in bulk as well, which will be cheaper from... I buy them from Israeli First Aid because they ship globally very cheap. Now they have a buy for more than 30 US and get free global shipping. They also sell on eBay, you will find them there. In here, I have the regular stuff, which you have all seen before. Gloves, plasters, different assortments of plasters, some Hello Kitty plasters, a CPR shield, and some skin closures. I will not take it out because it will be a pain to get back in. And then on this side, it's the everything kind of corner here. So we have nuke pills. These are iodine pills with instruction. Candy for the kids in case we need to put on a band-aid. This is also from the same, same nomad fella. I remember to have them in here as well. I have them. We use them quite often, but you know, yeah. Um, paracetamol for the butt. Just one. This is just a on-the-go kit, you know. Toothpick. Water purifying tablets. Imodium. Paracetamol. Tampon. I'm married. Um, Sharpie. And yeah, that's what we have in here right now. So, that's the contents of the EDC bag. Quite a lot of stuff, but it fits there. It can also fit a um, water bottle on top if I want to. So, what do you carry in your EDC? Do I have more stuff than you do? <laughs> I probably do. Uh, you can't fit all this stuff in your pockets, of course. Um, that's why I carry the satchel. And in shorts and such, I really like the only thing I put in my pockets is maybe um, some self-defense items like a, a metal pen or the defense spray or whatever is legal where I'm going. That is just put it that way. And and my phone. And the rest goes in the satchel. So the reason why I have the passports and, and medical insurance is because we are um, in Europe, in the European Union, and as a Norwegian citizen, we are not in the European Union, so a Norwegian passport is always handy to have if we suddenly need to leave where we are, or identify ourselves, or be extracted in some way. So then the passport is really useful. So yeah, that's the contents. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye-bye.